This is Sophia and Blue. <laughs> he's looked like he's gone through some stuff today. He's so tired and I made him sit so he would be in the frame. And he's so <laughs> Blue down. Good boy. Okay, I'm here to do a little gear haul. Um, for those who probably don't know me because I'm not that known, I guess. Um, my name is Sophia Ross and I run the Service Blues on Instagram, which is a journalistic nonprofit. And I run my own gear shop. I'm also notorious for being an excessive gear hoarder and <laughs> I don't say that lightly. I love cute gear. Um, being disabled, like owning a service dog can be very much like, um, trying to lower it. <laughs> very like discouraging and almost like kind of like nerve-wracking like it was very I got a lot of anxiety when I first was like okay I'm gonna need a service dog for my personal disability so something that makes me feel a lot more confident when going out which can help a lot is um gear that makes me feel happy and confident because we're usually matching and it's adorable so yeah that's why I love gear um I don't have the biggest gear collection, but I definitely have an extensive amount considering I've only had him for like, uh, wait, I forgot how to count. <laughs> January, wait, wait, uh, January, February, March, four months. I've only had him for four short months and I have like over like $2,000 worth of gear. So there's that. Everything that I'm going to be listening to this video, I'm going to put a link down below probably and also just like mention all the gear shops so it's easily accessible for everyone who's interested. So let's, let's go. Okay, I'm going to first start this off with a small piece of gear. This is just a service dog patch. I find these really helpful for when, um, sorry, to put on like my service dog capes and vests. Um, so cute and I like them to all like match cohesively. I'm very into pink, almost. Yeah, everything you're gonna see in this video is pink today. I really like pink and light blue because that's my dog's name. And even though he's a boy, like he's colorblind anyway. So like, I mean, he doesn't really care like what he sees, so <laughs> it's okay. Um, first one is actually made for my own gear shop, the Service Blues, Sotoflex, little plug. And it says sensory overload, please be patient. And I really like this one because it has like these like really cute like little kawaii bears on it. Which I love everything I buy is like Hello Kitty inspired like Japanese art. I just love it. It's like a big round. That was not a piece of art. But <laughs> everything on here is like um, super cute. It's nice and big. I just put on like the center panel patches or sorry center panel vests. And um, I just like them because... I have like lots of them that are clearly identifying my dog as service dog and not pet, but it's nice to have fun ones too because I find a lot of people will come up to you when you own a service dog and it's kind of like, ah, especially when you have any like mental disabilities. So it's like kind of just like a nice cute reminder of still being, you know, friendly and playful. You know, just like, please be patient, you know, and just your existence stresses me out, basically. So, um, there's that. Super cute. Super cute. It's a little bear. I always, I made this one and I told my boyfriend, I said, um, that this was him and this is me because I'm always crying and freaking out. <laughs> and he thought it was really funny. So this one's really cute. Shop in my shop. You can, <laughs> you can, you can, uh, you can shop it in, in my link below, which is owned by me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm such a dork. I have like, ah. <laughs> Okay, and then something I got to, um, that could definitely match. Everything here can match. I love matching stuff. Um, is I have this gorgeous little vest that goes with it. And I have one from Yellow Bee Pup Co. Which, unfortunately, I don't believe they're selling anymore. I know their Etsy is still up, but I believe that owner had a bunch of, like, personal things she had to deal with and stuff so she can't I'm she thinks she's just taking a break real quick but all her like Instagram stuff has been 
deactivated so i was really lucky to snag this like good i love her stuff and i love the owner anna marie so much she's just the sweetest but what's sick is that she makes these as pre-mades and i feel like i sorry i feel like usually you can't find like super hyper feminine like girly looking gear for custom or sorry for pre-mades like you always have to like custom order them from different places which can be really expensive and also just like really time consuming like I really like gear that I can just like buy and have like in a week <laughs> which is like like none of the stuff I have if I'm being honest so I mean there's that it's super cute though and, and um it has three little velcro spots here it's very secure and it's also double-sided which I really love I think next piece of gear that I wanted to show you guys was um this amazing and gorgeous mobility harness from happy handy handles on instagram um they are an amazing shop like i can't recommend it enough like i have this one set and i'm buying two like the same set but just in different colors because i love it that much and i feel like you know it's that good when you buy it in different colors so this is the saddle itself which is just it's gorgeous it has it was like a valentine's day pre-sale thing again i got this pre-made which like how does that happen you don't make these things pre-made so it has all of the like little hearts here and she hand stitches these i think that's the craziest part the owner she hand stitches everything so um yeah and i believe it's so it's 65 so 63 for the base and then for like each Y front or um straight front attachment that you want i believe it's an extra 63 which compared to like other um like brands i feel like that's very very reasonable considering like how affordable they are like and also just like how cute they are too like unless she has to like order the custom fabric i feel like that's very reasonable yeah it also has heart hardware on it i think it's just I think it's just sick. I mean, like, I love hearts. I love anything pink, anything pastel. I love it so much. Now, the coolest thing about this particular harness that I bought, um, it is, which I've never seen this before with, like, I'm sure it exists. I just have never seen it. So when I saw it on, like, my um, Instagram feed, I was, like, I was ecstatic. So basically, it comes with two different attachments. This is the straight front. So this is the first attachment, which I don't end up using too much just because it's more things to attach each time. And it's just a little complicated to bring on us. Like, and I like the other one more. Um, it's nothing like, it's not a gear shop's problem. It's just a personal issue. And then you wrap the ends around here, which is, it's just gorgeous. Like, this is alone is such a pretty set. And I'm so excited. Um, yeah. And the second attachment that it comes with, which is oh, so cute. The um, second attachment it comes with, which is probably my favorite thing that I own right now, like, gear-wise, uh, is this gorgeous heart white front material. Or, uh, sorry, like, harness strap, I guess. Like it's so gorgeous and it's like has this fuzzy sherpa on the inside and this like lies right here like under his sternum while he works and it's just the cutest thing ever this is it i just think it's so cute i bought another saddle from this shop so it would match this one better like just so it'd be the same like pink leather here which i think is gonna be sick like it's gonna look really good I'm really excited i'll do another haul when that comes and that's really cool and this one connects down here and goes under it also came with another matching collar which i was awful i don't have with me somewhere in my house so but that's that i definitely would recommend ordering from the shop like it's really really nice quality like um, I'm really picky with my mobility harnesses in particular. I'm actually like a mobility harness snob. I have so many and I've tested a bunch and I like want so much more now too. Like because I've tried, I want to try them all to be able to like give the best review I guess. 
because in my opinion it's arguably like one of the most important pieces of gear that you can have for your service dog if they are trained for mobility assistance i hope you guys enjoyed my little gear haul i'll definitely make another one if you guys are interested i have a lot of like different longer video like things that i'm thinking about doing that i don't feel like would be compatible with like the instagram reels or instagram platform that i'm most known for so i would really like to start like a little youtube channel to just like do more gear hauls and like service dog stuff anything related to that just let me know my comments are open you can you don't have to but if you like it i'd appreciate it <laughs>